Hi, I'm Collier Spring with the Avid Pro Audio team, and I'm here to introduce you to the new Avid Pro Tools S3 in this series of videos. Let's dive in, shall we? This video is about installing and setting up UControl software. Let's go. Installing the software is simple. Download the UControl 3.2.1 or higher to your computer and proceed. If you don't have the installer, go to your Avid account at avid.com forward slash account and then download the installer from there. If you don't have an Avid account, now's a good time to create one. Whether you're on OS X or Windows, open the UControl disk image or zip file by double clicking it. The mounted disk image should open a window that includes the install UControl package. Double click it. When prompted, select continue and agree to the terms of the SLA, then allow the installer to finish its job. UControl will auto launch upon completed installation. That's it for installation. To set up the software, make sure the S3 surface is connected directly to your computer via Ethernet, is powered on, and is in studio mode. If the S3 is in live mode, check the S3 user's guide to see how to switch it to studio mode. You will only need to do this once, as the S3 will retain its mode status until a user changes it. Bring the U-Control settings window to the front, select the Surfaces tab, and you should see your Ucon enabled devices on a list on the left. And if they haven't automatically connected, select the Avid S3 icon on the left and press Add. Once the S3 is in the My Surfaces column, you're connected and ready to go. Setting U-Control to open on login is a nice time saver, as is placing a shortcut on the desktop or in the dock. If the S3 will not add to My Surfaces list, or is not appearing at all in either list, check your network settings on your computer. Also, in System Preferences, open the Yukon Preferences panel and verify the proper Ethernet port has been selected under Network Interface. In your network settings, the port assigned to U-Control should be in Auto DHCP mode, allowing the computer or a pre-existing router to assign the IP address of the connected devices. If this was not the case, reboot your computer after changing to DHCP mode and reboot the S3. Once the S3 is selected in My Surfaces, Check the firmware version by pressing Update Firmware while the S3 is still selected. If it will allow an update, follow the instructions on screen exactly as described. Once the update is finished, it will reboot the Surface automatically. Now select the Preferences tab in the U-Control Settings window. This will allow the user to assign the foot switch function and whether holding the Shift key plus touching the fader sets the fader's physical position at 0 dB or not. Check the General tab settings for other options in setting up U-Control. Installing and setting up U-Control for S3 is a simple, straightforward exercise that needs to be done only once, and installing updates to the U-Control software are even simpler. Be sure to see all the videos in this series on the Avid Pro Tools S3 and read the S3 User's Guide.